Hey YouTube, CitySide75 here, bringing you another pickups video. This video covers pickups that I've made in the months of August and September of 2014. Um, a pretty interesting selection of pickups this month. For one reason or another, um, I haven't been able to... Garage sale season is starting to come to a close, but even with that, there have been a number of weeks lately where I just haven't been able to get out. Um, I've had a lot of stuff booked up on Fridays and Friday and Saturday mornings lately that have prevented me from uh, getting out more. And plus a few uh, weekends were complete busts too where I went out and just didn't find anything. So that being said, uh, this is actually not a bad load altogether here that I'm going to be showing you. So a haul. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. This is really in no particular order. Um, and again, I'll just kind of tell you how I picked them up as we go along here. So uh, starting off, we've got Race Driving for the Super Nintendo, formerly owned by Zane Marsh. Uh, Zane Marsh, if you're watching this video, I'll race you for it. You beat me, you can have it back. And you owned it, so you should be good at it. Uh, Next, we've got some PlayStation games here. Um, the first one we've got is Sports Car GT. Um, and I actually played this one on the PC a number of years back. It came in one of those like gold EA box, like greatest hits type things on the PC. And I actually remember that uh, it was really, it was a lot of fun. The driving model seemed to be really realistic. So um, figured I'd go ahead and give this a shot. I got a PS1 wheel that I'll pull out and try with it probably, but haven't given it a try yet. Uh, next up, I've got three different pinball games that I picked up, all three bucks or less um, at half price books. First, we've got Pro Pinball, and then we've got Patriotic Pinball, and finally, we've got extreme pinball so I haven't actually tried any of these yet I think this pro pinball this is fantastic journey I believe that there's another pro pinball I think on the Saturn I can't really see it from here it's right behind you um, but I think I have another one of these so I've tried this series before anyway those were all like I said two bucks to two ninety nine each and I apologize, I just noticed I've got a creaky stool here, so as I'm moving around, it's gonna be annoying, so sorry about that. Um, okay, next here, this is actually a loose PS2 game that I picked up, uh, also at Half Price Books, also for $2, I believe. It's Nightshade by Sega. If I'm not mistaken, this is part of the Shinobi series. So, for two bucks, I figured it was worth checking out. Um, went to a garage sale, uh, this was actually just last weekend, and we were on our way to Six Flags when I saw a sign for a geeky garage sale, which, I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> it, it sounds like it's something that I'd be interested in, though. Um, but the sale didn't start until noon, and like I said, we were on our way to Six Flags, and it was only like 10 o'clock or something like that, 9.30 maybe. So we had uh, a long time before the sale was going to start. So we came back pretty early. I figured I'd take a look on the way back and see if it was still there. And surprisingly, it was. And there wasn't a lot of good stuff left. There were definitely quite a few video games there, but they all seemed to be priced fairly knowledgeably. Um, but surprisingly, no, there were a couple good deals. So first of all, I got Mass Effect for the 360. I have Mass Effect 2, but I didn't want to start that until I got Mass Effect 1. So now I've got that. That was marked at 5. I tried to... Uh, talk them down a little bit on that but she was uh, firm at five but then I saw this little guy Resident Evil Deadly Silence for the DS which is a game I've always wanted to check out um, and they had this marked at two dollars so I bundled the two for six so not a bad deal overall for these two for six bucks all right, next up here, this was at uh, my local Goodwill, and hopefully you can see it here. You probably can't see it that well. There's not much to see, really. It was $14.99, and it's a N64 
with one black controller, AV cables, no expansion pack, unfortunately, just a jumper pack in there, but it's all complete. And lately the prices at, at places like Goodwill have, oh, and a memory card in there too. Um, but the, the prices at Goodwill for these systems have been going through the roof around here. You know, I think they have a Genesis that's sitting there for 50 bucks. Um, and yeah, they've all been going up. So I was surprised to see it this cheap. So I thought what the heck and picked it up. Uh, I may keep it. I may trade it. I may sell it. Who knows? Uh, also at that same Goodwill, I found the original NFL Blitz for a buck ninety nine. Um, I have the Blitz Special Edition, which was like a rental only that is some, somewhat rare, I think. Um, and then I also have like Blitz 2000 or something like that. But personally, um, well, first of all, I should say that if you haven't played Blitz, and it's very possible given that it's been a long time since this game's been popular, definitely go pick, pick it up and play it. Um, whether it's on the PS1, the 64, um, there's a version on the Dreamcast, although... Uh, my original point was that nothing compares to the original NFL Blitz. They, with each version after, they tried to add in little gameplay tweaks and little upgrades to the graphics and sounds and things like that. But looking back on them now, this is one of those, um, what I would coin a perfect game. Um, it just did everything exactly right. And it was so much fun. It is, it is truly a... The, the, the thing about Blitz, and again, if you've played it before, you know this, but uh, to those of you that haven't, it on the surface, it looks like a very shallow game. Um, there's not a lot of plays. Every play plays out very quickly. It's got over-the-top violence and things like that. Um, they'd never make a game like this today. Um, but there is a surprising amount of depth, especially if you have another human opponent to play against. And uh, this was a game that we played for years. Um, my at my family's house at family get-togethers and things like that which we used to have fairly regularly this was a staple for years and there were some epic epic battles that took place and with friends as well where we would have just crazy records on memory cards i i'd love to see if i still have those memory cards somewhere with all those stats on them i, I think i might so i'll have to look sometime but yeah so blitz fantastic game the original is the best uh, okay, also at Goodwill, a different week, was this complete in the box pink DS Lite for only $12.99. And I mean, it is complete. It's in near mint condition, I would say. Um, works great, you know, tested it out for a little bit. Um, you know, I, I probably couldn't use a pink DS as my main DS, unfortunately. I mean, if I'm just using it around here, that's fine, but. Carrying it around outside, I don't know. And my daughter already has one. So again, I may not keep this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But it is very pretty. I will say that. It's a pretty color. Um, but yeah, just not necessarily my thing. But DS lights are really nice. They have good screens. Um, they seem to be pretty durable. So $12.99. Happy with that. All right. Um, had a chance to visit my uh, one of my favorite stores that's not a Goodwill or a Half Price Books. Um, it's a disc replay in Schaumburg? Yeah. Yeah, Schaumburg, Illinois. Um, or maybe it's Hoffman Estates. Uh, over by, not too far from Woodfield Mall. Um, there's a disc replay over there. The thing I like about this disc replay is that they always have a huge selection. And their prices, while they're not cheap, um, there's always a few good deals to be found around the store. So um, these first two are not those deals, but uh, we've got Six Flags Fun Park, which was only $2.99. I'm sure this game is terrible, but I was there with my uh, my family, and we love Six Flags. And so we're like, uh, my wife was like, oh, Six Flags, that would be fun. And I said, no, I'm sure that's going to be terrible. Oh, let's try it anyway. It sounds like fun. So we're going to try that. Uh, and then also we got, for $3.99, uh, I picked up the U-Draw tablet a while back. I think it was in one of my previous videos. So now we've got the SpongeBob Square Pants, uh, or SpongeBob Squiggle Pants, which was the game that my son wanted. My son, Alex, uh, of Alex Epic 693 fame, 
uh, loves SpongeBob, is obsessed with SpongeBob. So, uh, and then we've got a couple games again that I. Oh, actually, let's look at the other um, games I picked up at Disc Replay. Um, so yeah, so one I was really happy to get for only five ninety nine too. Uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uh, Uncharted 2 seems to be everywhere and again I know that's supposed to be possibly the best game in the series and I really want to play that but I'd like to play the first one first. A, a couple of friends have told me that's the way to do it. Um, so this was only $5.99. Everywhere I see this game it usually runs $10 to $15 so I was happy with that. Again a disc replay. And then they had a couple of Sega CD games sitting there. Um, nothing really great, but the prices were right, um, especially because they're they're complete in the box and both in really good shape. We've got Thunderstrike, which looks like it's some kind of a helicopter, AH-3 Thunderstrike, fly that sacred bird straight into the jaws of terror. All right, yeah, I, I looked this up though, it doesn't look like it's that great. And then this one, which is sort of infamous for Sega CD games, which is Cliffhanger. Um, I believe, yeah, it's got some clips from the movie that are supposedly just horrible in quality. But then it has this 3D snowboarding level. Because again, this was, I think this was a, a cartridge game that they adapted to the CD. And they added this snowboarding level. And it's kind of like Batman in that it's a scaling, sprite scaling. But from what I've seen, it's like really hard, really frustrating. Not, you know, the Batman game is actually pretty fun. But I think this one's not too good. But that was only 99 cents. So $2.99 for Thunderstrike and 99 cents for Cliffhanger. So I'm happy to get those. Uh, let's see. Now, got some more half price books. Cheaps. Some uh, of their clearance games that they put on the $2 shelf. This one I was really happy to see uh, WTF Work Time Fun. Uh, this looks like it's some kind of a WarioWare type game. It looks super wacky Japanese. Um, and I love WarioWare, if I've not mentioned that before. I think I have. Uh, that's one of my all-time favorite games. And I love these these corny Japanese games. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. Two bucks. Uh, then we have Prince of Persia Revelations. I contemplated just walking away from this even at two bucks because I'm, I've got a lot of Prince of Persia games that I haven't played. Um, but it's in good shape. It's all there. It was only two bucks. So maybe someday I'll play it. <clears throat> uh, and then we got Splashdown Rides Gone Wild. And I actually already have this game, but I've just got the loose disc. And I wouldn't have even probably gone to replace it, except again, it was only two bucks. So I just went ahead and picked that up. And this also was nearly walked away from uh, Commandos 2 for 2 bucks. Seems like about what it's worth. It looks like there's a chance that someone was trying to sell for 1 buck somewhere else and obviously it didn't succeed. Um, but again, it was sitting in with all these others and I just decided to pick them all up. Um, so yeah, we'll see about that one. Uh, now this was kind of interesting. This was at my local Savers. And first I came across this, which is a GunCon 3 for the Sony PS3. Um, and fortunately, I have paid attention to my, um, I don't know, websites or whatever over the years, but uh, I had a suspicion that this came with another accessory. So I was able to look it up on my phone and found that it required like a uh, like a light bar, kind of like the, the Wii, like a infrared light bar. Um, and it was not in there with the gun. So I proceeded to walk around Savers. They've got about two or three different areas where they keep just bags of random electronics and electronic accessories and cords and things like that. And it took a little while, but I did locate the light bar. It's actually two light units that you set apart from one another. And then this allows it to work on flat screen TVs and things like that. Sadly, um, and these were also, I think it was all together, it was like $4 or so for the two pieces. Um, but sadly, 
it looks like there's only two games on the PS3 that support the Gun Con 3, and I think they're both Time Crisis games, which I would like to pick those up and certainly check those out at some point, but it'd uh, be nice if there were some more alternatives. I, I don't even know, maybe is there something on the the, um, the store, you know, like a downloadable game or something like that, but I didn't see any indications of anything, so... Uh, and it's kind of cool, actually, if you look at it here, compared to other gun cons, it has uh, like analog sticks so that it looks like you can kind of do a dual analog movement, look around and shoot at the same time, which would have some potential for sure. Uh, let's see. OK, so next I went to this garage sale and I haven't actually now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't really shown many garage sale finds this month uh, because there really weren't too many. Um, but I went to a garage sale and we got there, I think we saw an ad for this or something like that. Um, and they said video games and we got there shortly after they opened and it had already been picked over, but somehow, um, I don't know what else they had. I kind of asked them and, but th this stuff got left behind. Um, one I'll show you and one I can't show you, but the one I'll show you is so this was just sitting in the bottom of a box. It was filthy dirty, but fortunately it does all work. I cleaned it up and it all works. So we've got an action replay disc and the accompanying memory card were both there. Um, if you know anything about these, they tend to get separated obviously. Um, and pretty much one does nothing without the other. Um, this has the codes on it. This transfers the codes to the, uh, to the game itself. So. Um, I had one of these at one point and I tried to find the disc and the disc alone was so expensive that it was made more sense for me just to sell the, the memory card. So that's what I did. But these were sitting there and they gave these to me for a dollar a piece. And then sitting next to those also loose was a copy of uh, Super Smash Brothers um, for the GameCube. I'm forgetting if it's Brawl or Melee. I think it's Melee, right, on the GameCube? Um, <clears throat> uh, so anyway, but yes, that, that was sitting there, loose disc. I knew, you know, it was worth picking up. Again, they sold it to me for a dollar. I, I did not realize quite how crazy things have gotten with Super Smash Brothers. So needless to say, I did sell that. Um, a loose disc right now sells for upwards of $40, uh, which is just crazy. Uh, and I mean, I already have a complete copy, so... Um, and like I said, I picked it up for a buck. So easy way to continue to finance my hobby. Uh, one promise that I made some time back was that if I found a Wii balance board for less than $5, I was going to pick up a second one. And here we have a Wii balance board that was picked up for $3.99, which met the goal. So I thought, okay, great, mission accomplished. Um, now let's find those Wii games that work with the two balance boards. Went online, started searching around, and it turns out that there's a grand total of zero, as Wii is not compatible with two balance boards. <laughs> so after all this time and all these dreams of playing two player, you know, like snowboarding or um, Winter Olympics or whatever, uh, it turns out, yeah, that. All of those you have to just take turns using one Wii balance board. So now I have two Wii balance boards and nothing to do with them. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. <laughs> kind of kicking myself on that one. Only spent $3.99 on it, but uh, you know, I, I don't. I think it would be more of a hassle than anything to try to sell it. I don't want to just donate it. So who knows? Maybe it'll just hang out around here. All right. Uh, oh, you know, one last. This was also. I think this was also at that same garage sale. Um, this was a loose PSP game, Medal of Honor Heroes 2. So, don't know anything about it, haven't tried it, but uh, again, I believe that was a dollar. And finally, we come to the most controversial find of the month. Um, I was really on the fence as to whether I actually wanted to buy this or not. Um, it's not, it wasn't cheap, although, I mean, it's not expensive, relatively speaking. But uh, I didn't get it for any kind of a deal. I didn't think I really was. It was at Half Price Books, uh, but it was in their normal section. And they are usually pretty well researched on pricing. So I knew it wasn't worth a lot, but it was something weird 
video game related and a system that I don't have and the number of those is declining rapidly and I, I would like to check it out so anyway without further ado this is what I got for $34.99 picked up an Action Max so an Action Max for those that don't know is a short-lived system made by uh, I forget the name of the company now um, but they also made like Teddy Ruxpin and things like that they were a toy company that t took a, f a foray into um, video games so to speak with the Action Max so basically the Action Max comes with a gun and this unusual light that you actually have to suction cup to your TV screen and the system itself actually doesn't even come with a, an AC adapter it actually can take batteries C batteries in here although you can connect an AC adapter so I'm sure one of my multi adapters will work for that so the unusual thing about the action max is that the games are actually videotapes and as you can probably imagine if you know anything about videotapes videotapes being a linear media format not like a disc where it can be random access it has to always go through the same sequence of events it really limits how much interactivity the game can have so you actually hook the action max up to the VCR and then you put these tapes in and then you use your light gun to shoot at the different targets on the screen and then the, that light that you suction cup to the screen will blink and the action max will actually keep your score on a little display that's the only real you know gaminess of it is that little bit of interactivity with the, <laughs> the light flashing and then the score going up by some number of points depending on what you did um, and that is it so so again for $34.99 I got the system those accessories and then I got four tapes here Sonic Fury which um, I believe is the game that came with the system and maybe you can see that a little bit there uh, it's some kind of a fighter jet thing from what I understand these games are all available on YouTube so I could just go on there and watch them but it seems I, I would like to try it I've got all the equipment here to do it I've got a CRT TV I've got a VCR that I can hook up to it so I, I will probably give it a try at some point it would be a good thing to make a video about actually so we'll see uh, next we got hydro sub 2021 this looks like you're shooting underwater stuff in each of these scenarios it's kind of ridiculous the fact that you're using a pistol to shoot down fighter jets or shoot underwater at least this one makes sense 38 ambush alley and then finally the rescue of pops ghostly Which sounds interesting pops ghostly and his family desperately need your help So anyway, that is it for my pickups for uh, August and September of 2014. Uh, thank you again, as always, for watching. And uh, again, I welcome some new subscribers that we've had since the last time I've done one of these videos. Um, keep Stay tuned. I've got some more Arcade Chronicles uh, coming up here soon. Uh, I plan to do some more Let's Play slash Quick Compare videos like I've done before. Um, you know, just got a few ideas as I, as I get some free time here. Um, I would like to definitely try some, some different things as well as keep doing what I'm doing. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for, um, you know, commenting and liking everything else that you guys do. So thanks again.